Creepers, I'm back with more Assassin's Creed. We're at the burrow. We're gonna go start the assassination, I think. Now that we've done everything else. Altair, welcome, welcome. I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of his blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Are we done talking? Can I leave now? No? Then talk. Do something. Oh. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. I don't want to. I'm ready. Goodbye. Peace. Goodbye. Let me out. Unlock the invisible door. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Good morning. Tamir is within the suit, preoccupied with preparing a large shipment of weapons. This is the time to strike. Alright, let's go. Let me go strike now. I hear a dog, but you never see a dog in this game. Come on. Which is why you come to me. Come, people. Come see what I do up. What's got into it? I don't understand. I don't hurt someone at that speed. He seems to be in a rush. Where is he? says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Would that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? You dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, oh. stop. Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. You 
came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me? Someone is angry, she is. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Attacking me for you, idiot. That's what he gets for attacking me. You pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? I don't understand this at all. Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. But I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I am. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Rest of Swati and Pesa. Idiot should have left me alone. He wouldn't have been dead. He wouldn't have been dead. He wouldn't have been killed.
reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malik. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Target has been eliminated. Return to Al Mulam. Al Mulam. Mulam. Whoa. Stuff's happening. Oh God, I'm here again. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Miss Stillman. Stop insisting he let me rest. And you don't even talk to me because you're mean. Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Whoa. Emails. Inbox. Warren Vidic. Time. September 2, 24, 22. From Lucy to Warren. Your pen. Warren, found your access key pen again today out in the parking lot. You really need to start keeping it in your pocket instead of letting it hang off your coat. Try and take better care of your things, Warren. Imagine if security had found it. They'd have shut us down for at least a day to reprogram all the computer access codes. Lucy. As a general reminder, all employees of Abstergo Industries are prohibited from discussing corporate policy, proceedings, and projects. In light of pending lit litigation, you are all reminded of sections 2.15 in your employment contracts. You acknowledge and agree that Abstergo has developed such confidential information by the investment of significant time, effort, and expense, and that such confidential information provides Abstergo with a significant, significant competitive advantage in its business. You acknowledge and agree that a breach of this agreement by you will therefore result in imperable harm to Abstergo, the extent of which would be difficult to ascertain in any event money damages will be inadequate as a remedy in the event of such a breach. Accordingly, you agree that in the event of a breach of this agreement by you, Abstergo shall be entitled to injunctive or other equitable relief if the court deems appropriate, in addition to any other remedies which it may have available. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your human resources manager. We thank you in advance for your compliance. Lucy to Warren. Layla. You said wind up like Layla earlier. What did you mean, Lucy? Nothing. Get back to work, please. We have a deadline. P.S. Why do you sign your emails? It says right up top who it's coming from. Can I read their, his emails, too? His computer's back here. Nope, it's turned off because he's marine. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked. Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see. I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? Yeah, I mean the present. Now, today. Whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, definitely not for you. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. 
There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. I read all these. They don't tell me anything about it. It's just your emails. Good night. Whoa. The following morning. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards. You're a drug that company. Is what you're helping Stick us to achieve. what you know how to do. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here. What they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, Everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? What are you, a Templar? Calling me an assassin like that? I told you. You assassin? Assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Or what where is? What is? Sorry, I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We assassinated that one guy. The king of markets or whatever. <laughs> king of markets. <laughs> Merchants. Work, Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned next time for more Assassin's Creed. The original.